Hello everyone, Tina here for Newton's Nook Designs. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create with the cutest little stamp set over at Newton's Nook Designs as part of the new August release. It is called Trick or Treat Kittens. And there's one kitten that's in a pumpkin and there's another one that's in a little um, trick or treat bag. And so we're going to make a, a fun little Halloween card. I'm using pattern papers today. I haven't used pattern papers in a while, so we're going to jump in and start stamping. I'm going to stamp the, the kitten that's in the pumpkin, and I'm using Memento ink, and then there's also some extra little candies in the stamp set. I'm going to stamp a couple of those um, on some cardstock that's alcohol marker friendly. I'm going to color in my images today with Copic markers, and I did leave the coloring in, and I... Um, I always say this, but I leave the caps out for you guys, um, but sometimes it's hard to read them, so I put them in the corner for you guys too. But while I color, I'm going to play a little bit of music, and then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. I wanted to go for just some orange, oranges, uh, maybe a little bit of pink in there, and yellows. Um, and the cute little kitty, I did use some warm grays for him. So we're going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies and die cut out our candies, along with our cute little kitten. And once we have these die cut, we're going to set them aside and work on our background. Now for my background, we're going to start off by taking some white cardstock. I want a large circle. So sometimes I like images on on thing, on shapes. <laughs> so I'm bringing in the circle frames die set and it, this is a nice stitch detail. We're going to cut out a circle and then there's one that's a slightly larger that has a scalloped edge. And I actually have one with white cardstock in the back of my package. Sometimes if I have extra, I'll put them back there. So I'll just go ahead and use the one that I already die cut. <laughs> but the scalloped edge, I'm going to die cut out with some vellum. 
this is going to be a nice little daintiness for our card. I'm bringing in a stencil from Newton's Nook Designs. This is the Hound's Tooth stencil, and I just wanted some brown um, in my background. I want to bring in some brown polka dots, and I just want to do a light shading over my circle. I'm using my blending tool that already has vintage photo on it, so it's like a pale brown. Now once I have a little bit of color on my circle, it's still light enough to, for her, me to stamp my sentiment. We're going to adhere this to our vellum circle, and we're good to go here. Now I have some pattern papers. I already adhered a panel that measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. I adhered that to my um, A2 size card base. That is the one with a almost a tan background. It's like a linen. Um, close up and then you have the brown polka dots and then I'm going to also bring in a couple of pieces of pattern paper one it was the orange and white stripe and the other one is like a two-tone softer orange um, the striped darker orange measures two and a half inches by four and three quarters and then the lighter orange measures two and a quarter inch by four and a half inch so it's just a quarter inch smaller but I stamped Happy Halloween using my Versafine Onyx Black ink. And it, the camera is really, you, it doesn't look like it's showing up behind that, that, um, that background we created, but in real life it stands out and that's nice. I would, I don't think I would have stamped it if it was going to drown out my sentiment. But I went ahead and added some black twine, wrapped it around the base of my card twice and then tied a bow off to the left added my little kitty. I did pop up the kitty and the candies with foam adhesive for a little dimension and then we just want to embellish it with some kind of sparkle. So I'm bringing in some stars. I've had these in my stash for a long time. Um, I have gold and silver and I just added five gold stars to my project. Seems like Halloween and stars go together. <laughs> but that's my project for Newton's Tech Designs. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day. We'll see you soon.